Good morning and God bless you. If you are a member of Cornerstone Pentecostal Church, we're so glad that you have tuned in to be with us this morning. If you're not a member here, we are equally delighted that you have joined us here this morning. We're in for a treat because I have asked uh, Brother David Gazandi, who helps out here, fills an incredible role here at Cornerstone Pentecostal Church. I've asked him to give us a devotional on personal evangelism and soul winning. And Brother David Gazandi has exemplified this for many, many years. And I'm delighted that he's consented to do this. And we will be hearing from him in just a moment. We want to start with prayer. And we want to encourage all of you to be submitting your prayer requests uh, to us here at Cornerstone either to Sister Natasha or the church email account. If you'll get those prayer requests to us, we will definitely bring them before the entire church and we will continue to pray uh, for needs both great and small. Let's start with prayer. Father, we love you. We praise you. We worship you here today, God. We thank you for your ever-present help, even in the midst of national and worldwide crisis. We know that God is a comfort and a strength in time of trouble. Father, we pray for our nation, those that are in leadership. We pray for our community and we pray for Cornerstone members in particular, for the hand of God, the strength of God, the promises of God, and the word of God to be an immediate help. We ask it now in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. So without any further delay, God bless you, and we just believe that this is going to be a great blessing to you. God bless. Hey, Cornerstone family and friends. I just wanted to reach out to you for a few moments today. My hope and prayer is that you all are well, you're healthy, and you're safe during this time. Uh, for those of you that are fighting the virus, our prayers are with you. I know we have some friends that have contacted the virus. They're fighting through it but God is with them and we're trusting with all of you that God's gonna bring you through. Um, we're living in unprecedented times right now, but at the same time, they are exciting times. It's an opportune time for the church. I see the church adapting, overcoming, and impacting our world. I'm hearing, and not only hearing, but I'm seeing exciting things happen. People are being stirred. Lost ones are finding their way back home. Miracles are happening because the churches are rising up to meet the occasion. Instead of churches being overwhelmed, I'm seeing churches overcome these obstacles set before us. Yes, it's causing us to stretch out of our comfort zone. It's causing us to be more creative, innovative, and intentional about getting the gospel out there. But I see churches of all sizes taking advantage of social media platforms, pre-recording their services, summer live streaming services, doing drive-in services or drive-through services. People are doing Bible studies by way of Skype or Zoom and so on. But God is anointing all these efforts. He's blessing these efforts and we are seeing the fruit of everybody's labor. But I wanted to reach out to you, especially my family at Cornerstone, and uh, encourage you. We all have our own personal mission field. So besides what the church is doing as a whole, I want to remind you that each and every one of us, each and every day, have our own mission field that we're responsible for. So in addition, in addition to what the churches are doing, you individually can reach your mission field on a daily basis. I'm reminded a few years ago, one of my present day heroes of the faith is Pastor B.J. Wilmoth. And a few years ago, he put together an incredible outreach program called A Plan to Reach. If you remember Cornerstone family, we spent several weeks teaching and training you guys on each step of this plan to reach. And I got to thinking, if there was ever a day that we needed to reach our world, it's now. And what a great opportunity we have set before us. Now, if you remember, Brother Wilmoth made an acronym or, or an acrostic out of the word REACH. And each letter stood for a plan of action. The R stood for recite, recite your story. Share your personal testimony. The E stood for eat with them, fellowship with them. The A stood for ask them to a church event. The C stood for cry out to God for them, pray for them, 
And the H stood for help them. Now with the present COVID-19 guidelines, we may, we may not be able to reach out and get together physically right now like we have in the past. But I want to encourage you individually that you still can reach your personal mission field. I want you this next week to reach your mission field. I wanna encourage you to do these five things. Pick one and do one each day over the next five days. Recite your story one day. Call a family member or a friend that you've been working on that doesn't know Christ like you. Someone that you're burdened for. And go over what God has done in your life. Recite your story to them one day. Now, the next day, eat with them. Now, you probably can't do this now physically because of what's going on. But the Bible says, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. So I encourage you to take this living bread, the word of God, call someone up, do a Skype call or, or whatever it takes and break the bread of life with them and feast on God's word. I wanna encourage you to do that. Another day, ask them to a church event. You say, well, I can't go to church. Well, yeah, we can't do that physically right now. But man, we have so many opportunities with social media and, and you can invite them. I mean, all of us are streaming or all of us are pre-recording our services. So invite them to watch your service for that week. Um, my kids last night, under the direction of, of Kyle, one of my boys, um, and the autopilot worship team, they live streamed a, a worship session right here in our living room and, and hundreds from all over the United States tuned in. And it was such an impactful moment. I, I wish you all could have been a part of it. Maybe many of you that are listening now were a part of it, but you can do something like that. Create an event and stream it online and see what God will do. And then I want you to pick one day this week and cry out to God for those that you are burdened for, those that you're working with. Pray for them, spend a season in prayer. Man, prayer gets things done. And so lift them up in prayer. And lastly, help them. Pick a day this week to help someone in need. You may not be able to physically go and help someone in need, but you can call them up and give them an encouraging word. People are hurting. People are scared right now that don't know God like you and I know God. And so call them up, encourage them, let them know that it's gonna be all right and that they can have uh, strength and comfort and peace through this time. Amen. Another way to help someone is, is maybe, maybe, maybe someone has been laid off. Maybe you're in a financial position that you could be a financial blessing to that person. So if you can do that, I encourage you to do that. But just find some way to help someone this week. So over the next five days, Cornerstone, let's pull together, let's work together, and let's reach our world. God bless you. I love you all. I miss you all. I look forward to the day that we get together. But in the meantime, I look forward to hearing all the wonderful reports of what God's gonna do in your mission field. God bless you.